theories on the moon's formation. Hey everyone, welcome to Wacky Universe. I'm your host, Jay. Despite being our nearest neighbor, the moon is largely mysterious to us. Even today, 50 years after visiting its surface, we still aren't sure how it formed. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all our upcoming videos. And if you end up enjoying this one, hit the like button before you go. 6. Co-formation Due to their similar ages, some take the twin-like properties of the Earth and the Moon literally and believe the two formed together close to the start of the solar system. The Earth, of course, gets bragging rights as the older twin, beating out the Moon by a mere 20 or 30 million years. Before the two formed, the solar system was only a protoplanetary disk of spinning gas and dust. Planets, asteroids, and comets were barely a thought in the Sun's mind. Then, 4.5 billion years ago, gravity pulled some of that space debris together until they accreted to form two bodies in our region of the solar system, the Earth and its sole orbiting moon. 5. Giant Impact When Apollo 17 returned with moon rock samples in 1972, NASA researchers had a conundrum on their hands. There were unexpected similarities between the moon and Earth's chemical composition, and the moon had an iron core surprisingly small for an object of its size. They proposed what's now the most well-known theory for the moon's formation, the giant impact hypothesis. 30 to 60 million years after our planet's formation, Mars-sized planet Theia slammed into the Earth. This impact created an orbiting disk of debris made from the outer layers of Theia and Earth. This disk spun and spun until it eventually coalesced into the moon as we know it today. 4. Synestia Scientists noticed one glaring flaw with the giant impact hypothesis. If only Theia had been destroyed on impact, then the moon should be mostly made of Theian rock instead of near identical to Earth. Unless Theia was somehow a cosmic sister-sister scenario of twins separated at birth, how were the moon and the Earth so similar? A recent theory tweaks the giant impact hypothesis to explain this inconsistency. When Theia struck Earth, it was a much bigger deal. Both planets were vaporized in the impact. The dust of these two giant bodies spun around in a huge space donut called a Synestia. This giant cloud's cosmic ingredients mixed and baked together before finally cooling into a separate Earth and Moon. In this revised impact theory, the missing Theian rock wasn't missing at all. It just formed the Earth as well as the Moon. 3. Captured Moon One old theory believed that the Moon had no ties to the Earth at all. It instead formed somewhere else in the solar system and flew through space until it got caught by Earth's gravity. This would, however, rely on good faith that the Moon and Earth coincidentally have the same composition, and the Moon just happened to swing by at the right moment for Earth to slow it down the amount necessary for orbit. Since science has a certain distaste for dumb luck, this theory is widely considered debunked. 2. Two-Moon Collision To explain the stark difference between the flatter near and rockier far sides of the Moon, which most theories ignore, some claim that the Earth once had a second moon. It was much smaller than the one we know, and it eventually collided into its bigger sibling, as most worlds seem to do in these theories. When its fragments merged with its bigger sister, they didn't do so evenly, and instead plastered themselves mostly to the far side of the moon. This new face was left craggy and pockmarked, like a pubescent teen in the throes of their new changing body. With one more theory left, I want to know what theories you used to have about the moon when you were a kid. Perhaps the Milky Way curdled into space cheese, or it just showed up one day and never left. I'd love to read your theories in the comments below. 1. Fission Back in the late 19th century, Charles Darwin's son, George, proposed that early in the Earth and Moon's lives, they had once been a single planet. However, as most kids do, this Earth moon got a little too excited and it spun faster than recommended. It revolved so quickly that it couldn't keep itself together and part of it flew away. This piece didn't go very far, of course, and formed the moon. Scientists' proof of this was the Pacific Ocean, an apparent scar from the Earth's fission. We've since proven that this fission didn't happen. For one, 
the Pacific Ocean is much younger than the moon. And two, any force capable of getting rid of something as large as the moon would have torn the Earth apart. Maybe George should have left the hypothesizing to his dad.